Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into how to disable the test using at disabled annotation in a JUnit. Disabling tests allows you to prevent specific test methods or specific test classes from being executed during a test run. Well, this can be useful in a scenarios where a test cases is not ready, needs to be temporarily skipped due to known issue or when refactoring the code. Add disabled annotation is used to disable or skip a test method or a test class. The JUnit will skip the execution of add disabled annotated test methods or all test methods within a add disabled annotated test class. Well, whenever you want to skip some of the test methods, then you can go ahead and annotate those test methods with add disabled annotation. And you can also skip all the test methods within a class by annotating that class with add disabled annotation. We will see in example how we can you know achieve all these things. Why disable tests? Well, there are several reasons why you might want to disable test cases. Known issues. If a test is falling due to known bug or issue that you are working on, you might disable the test until the issue is resolved. Incomplete features. If a test is for a feature that is not yet fully implemented, you might disable the test until the feature is complete. Refactoring. When the refactoring code, you might temporarily disable tests that are affected by the changes until the refactoring complete. External dependencies. If a test relies on external service or a resource that is currently unavailable, you might disable the test until the dependency is back online. Okay, so these are the some of the scenarios where you can disable the test cases. Next, let us go and let's understand how to disable the test using add disabled annotation in an action. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and go to our project. And here we have a calculator class. Within that we have a couple of methods, add, subtract, multiply and divide. Next, let us create a test class and we'll write a JUnit test cases to, you know, unit test all these methods. So go to test package go to base package over here go to annotations package right click on it new and then choose class let's give class name as disabled calculator test well here i am demonstrating the usage of disabled annotation that's why i have given the test class name like this but ideally the test class to test the calculator you know naming convention should be calculator test okay perfect Next, within this test class, let's go ahead and let's create a test methods. So just type wide and then add test is the method name. Next, let us annotate this method with add test annotation to mark this method as a test method. And within this method, let's create an instance of calculator class. Next, let's call calculator dot add method and then pass two comma three. Next, let's use assert equals method to verify that two values are equal. So here assert equals import is not coming. We can explicitly add the import import static org dot jnit dot jupyter dot api dot assertions and then star star means we can import, you know, anything from this assertions class perfect next you can go to assert equals method and just press control space you can get all the overloaded assert equals method over here and just select first one and then pass expected value for you and uh, here the actual value should be the result of this add method so let us take the result of add method in a local variable of type int and let's call it as addition and here just pass the actual value addition okay so this assert equals method here we are using to assert or verify that the actual value is equal to the expected value as we know that the actual value is 2 plus 5 and we are expecting the same as 5 okay perfect next let's create a couple of more JNU test cases public we can reduce the visibility we can keep default just type wide and then sub subtract test so this is the 
test method that we are going to use to test subtract method from calculator class next let us annotate this method with add test annotation within this method let's create an instance of calculator class all right and then int subtraction calculator dot subtract and then pass 3 comma 2 and then let's use assert equals and then expect one actual subsection notice here we are using assert equals method to verify that actual value is equal to expected value and here the actual value is 3 minus 2 1 and we are expecting same here 1 okay next let us run the test class from here and you can see the result tests are passed okay next let us create one more test case just copy it paste it and here let's give the method name multiply and here let's call multiply method from the calculator class and then pass 2 comma 3 and here let us change the local variable and let's call it as multi application and here just pass this multiplication and we are expecting 3 into 2 6 perfect next similarly let's create one more test case just copy it paste it and here let's give method name as divide and then just call divide method of calculator class for you or 10 comma for you and here expected to and just change the local variable let's call it a division and here also division perfect next let us run the complete test class and you can see all the tests are passed okay now we have created a base next let's understand how to use add disabled annotation to disable the test method so let us say we want to disable this add test method then we can annotate this method with add disabled annotation from org.junit.jupyter.api package next if i run the test class you can see here add test method is disabled okay next we can also optionally pass the you know string to this annotation as well for example let's say disabled until bug some bu let's give some bug name let's say 40 is fixed all right so this is the optional you can pass the message to this annotation saying that why you are disabling this particular test method okay and if i run the test case you can see the test method is disabled and you can see the message disabled until bug port is fixed okay so this is how you can also pass the message or information saying that why this particular test method is you know disabled next we can disable multiple test methods within a test class for example here let us disable this subtract test method as well so here just annotate this method with add disabled annotation and if i run the test case you can see the add test and subtract test methods are disabled well here disabling these two test method means JUnit will skip the execution of these two test methods while executing the test methods in a test suit.